Soyuz TMA-06M launched on 23 October 2012 was a spaceflight to the International Space Station, transporting three members of the Expedition 33 crew. TMA-06M was the 115th flight of a Soyuz spacecraft, the first flight launching in 1967. Soyuz TMA-06M launch was also the first manned flight from the remote Site-31 pad since July 1984. The Soyuz remained on board the space station for the Expedition 33 increment to serve as an emergency escape vehicle. Soyuz TMA-06M successfully returned to Earth on 15 March 2013. Topic Crew Topic Backup Crew Topic Rollout On 21 October 2012, the Soyuz FG rocket booster with Soyuz TMA-06M spacecraft was rolled out by train and erected on Pad 6 at Site-31, also referred to as the Tereshkova Pad. Launch Pad 31 6 was used for this mission since the usual launch pad for manned flights, Pad 5 at Site-1 was undergoing maintenance and upgrades. Also on the launch day, the crew's trip to the 31 6 launch pad took about 1 hour and 10 minutes to 50 minutes longer than the drive to the 1 5th launch pad. <laughs> <laughs> launch Soyuz TMA-06M was launched atop of a Soyuz FG rocket at 10 hours 51 minutes and 11 seconds Greenwich Mean Time on 23 October 2012 from the Baikonur Cosmodrome, in Kazakhstan. The launch of TMA-06M from Baikonur's Site-31 was the first human liftoff from that launch pad since July 1984 when Soyuz T-12 was sent to the Salyut 7 space station. Following the flawless launch, the Soyuz spacecraft successfully achieved orbital insertion nine minutes later and began its 34-orbit journey to the International Space Station. Live television from inside the Soyuz TMA-06M command module showed Commander Oleg Novitsky monitoring the automated ascent from the center seat. Seated on the left and right to him was flight engineer Evgeny Tarelkin and NASA astronaut Kevin Ford, respectively. Shortly after the launch, one of the cosmonauts reported an alarm of some nature, but flight controllers later said there were no obvious problems. <laughs> Docking In order to set up the rendezvous operations, the Soyuz spacecraft performed three orbital adjustments to increase its altitude. The first two of these burns was completed on the launch day with the first conducted just 4.5 hours after the launch. The third burn was conducted on flight day two. Aboard the space station, the crew also took final preparations for the docking and cameras aboard the station were configured to record the next day's docking. On the docking day, the automated rendezvous sequence that was initiated at 10.11 coordinated universal time. After three minutes, the space station also conducted a maneuver to the proper docking attitude and the Soyuz crew activated the KERS navigation system that provides accurate range and velocity data for the spacecraft's onboard computers. When arriving at a distance of 300 meters, mission controllers in Korolev, Russia gave a go for the flyaround. After the flyaround was completed, station keeping operations began at a distance of 190 meters from the space station. This period was used by the mission controllers to verify all systems and alignment with the space station. 
Station keeping was shortened as all system checked out well and the green light was issued for the final approach. Soyuz TMA 06M docked with the ISS at 12.29 Greenwich Mean Time on 25 October 2012, about six minutes earlier than planned. The spacecraft docked at the MRM-2 Poisk module, while Soyuz TMA 06M and the ISS were flying 254 miles 409 km as the space station flew above southern Ukraine. The crew performed the standard one-hour leak check operation before getting started with hatch opening procedures. After leak checks and system checks were completed, the crew opened the hatches and entered the space station at around 15.15 Greenwich Mean Time. They were greeted by Expedition 33 crew members Sunita Williams, Yuri Malinchenko and Akihiko Hoshide. Topic: Return to Earth. Soyuz TMA-06M undocked from the ISS on the 15th of March 2013 at 11:43 p.m. GMT, carrying Novitsky, Tarelkin, and Ford, and landed safely at 3 hours 6 minutes and 30 seconds a.m. GMT the following day. The landing was north of the town of Arkalik. Medica Fish Soyuz TMA-06M carried 32 Medica fish that will be used to test how conditions in space impact on living organisms. The fish will live inside a fish tank, called the Aquatic Habitat in the Japanese Kibo Lab module, which was delivered to the space station by JAXA's Kunatori 3 spacecraft in July 2012. 